Hey guys, um, got another video. Uh, this is going to be my Yoto Hing guide. I'm trying to do a guide of the characters I think are the most powerful in the game right now, just because um, I really want you know these characters to be well known. Um, these characters are really, really powerful for what they can do. It's actually ridiculous uh, how strong and how powerful they are. So I just want to make a guide on those characters. So this will be my Yoto Hing guide specifically for this character to just show you a little bit more in-depth stuff about her. Now, this is post-patch. So like previous patch, you would see people doing stuff like this. And then they would do that and, you know, the whole combo thing. Uh, or they would try to get you to do like this and then go into the combo system and do the F while they're in here and the juggle and all of that and whatnot. Now, yes, that is one way to play Yoto Him, where you do a juggle and then you do all of that stuff while they're in the air. But one thing people felt to realize was you can actually do her move as a guaranteed combo now uh, on the ground. Now, this was always in the game, but no one really abused it like that. So... What I want you to realize is any weapon that has enough stun, just enough. Now this weapon comes out extremely fast, so pretty much everything pre-patch, like all your dash attacks, uh, your first light on katana, your first light on the dagger, the horizontal attack on the dagger, uh, for the spear, for your great sword, it was pretty much any hit you can do it off of. Um, your for the spear, it would be your uh, vertical attack okay so the long sword it worked with either or uh, horizontal vertical or all of so any dash attack you're guaranteed this will be guaranteed to work with okay so that's what's important but any weapon that has enough stun lock so for katana it's this one you can't do it off of this one they can actually get out of it or use their ability in between but if you do it off of this move but the safest bet is your dash attack so if you do her dash attack you can go immediately into this for a guaranteed combo and all of that damage is guaranteed okay so Yoto Him is a combo character you don't have to just juggle and get them in the air in order to use her ability to get damage off of anything that has enough stun you can do it so like for example Let's say you did one, two, and they dodged or something, and you hit this. You can do that. Like, use it in the midst of, like, combos uh, if you want. But now, even though I did it after the focus, that is actually not guaranteed. It's, it's just really good pressure, okay? But it's not guaranteed. If you want it guaranteed, you have to do it off of your first light with the katana, your horizontal exclusively, uh off of your any dash attack on any weapon um off of any vertical horizontal on the dagger any vertical horizontal on the long sword but on the spear only the vertical okay so with that being said that's pretty much what i wanted you to understand at the beginning is that this you can use it to combo somebody up from just landing one light now you have to hit confirm so it's not exactly what I would call easy, but let's say you clash. Uh, so let's say we have a, a great sword here, and let's say you clash with them. You can throw that ability out in order to get out of the way, or to just like stop him before he can do his next move. So let's say you're clashing and you do one two, and you throw it out next. You can actually like stop him. I'll prove. It. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So. See what I'm saying? And you can combo him up for going for that. So that's really important because this move, if you look at what it says, look what it says. If you get a uh, landing blow or kill or whatever you want to call it, you can actually um, reset the cooldown. Now, this move here, it also blocks melee attacks. So... What you can do is if you want to be safe after every time you throw uh, any combo, you can just throw this out as a way to just like 
stay oppressive. So let's say you just did some sort of combo or something, you know, and you just want to stay oppressive. Then you can like one, two, and then do that and then throw it out right after that. Let's say they dodge and then you just block all melee attacks. So let's say you clash with the great sword and you know it's coming. It's going to block everything okay so that's really powerful but what's really important to note is that this move here um it resets this one right here it resets whenever you kill somebody now they're talking about only with when it's the last blow but from my experiences if you do a combo at all with this character and you use the f button in order to do it it reset it for me, so I don't know if it hasn't really, it's not working how intended, but anytime I do a combo with this button and they're close to that, and I, like, let's say I kill them with, like, my down this or something like that, I still, it still resets for me. So I don't know if that's working as intended, but I'm just telling you guys what's happening for me. So that's really important to note is that this move resets and cooldown. Now, Keep in mind that you I set this in my all characters guide, but this is exclusively for Yoda, so I just want to add this in here. So you can throw it in and throw it in the air like that and clip them. So that way, like, you don't always have to just throw it straight forward. It goes wherever you want it to. So like you can you can throw it however you want. You don't have to always just throw it directly at them. Let's say you wanna like do damage, but you know you're low on health, so you also want to get out of there. You can like hit them with one light, throw it like that. And it'll still hit them. So they still have to respect that first hit. And then you can just get up out of there. Like grapple if you want and just leave. Okay. So you can do that also. You don't always have to use it as a damage tool. You can use it as a defensive tool. Or as a getaway tool. A repositioning tool should I say. So that's really important. Now what's really important about knowing that. Is that it, that also helps with her ultimate. Because her ultimate. I see so many people. They'll be popping it. And then they'll just go like nowhere with it so let's talk about our ultimate so they made some changes to our ultimate okay now her ultimate whenever you pop it you use 25 percent of the ultimate so now you're at 75 percent and for every swing that you do you lose another 25 percent so anytime you like use it and you can okay so everyone knows that whenever you use it at the start you get like this initial iframe okay or this initial like just safetyness okay so you can use that and then immediately cancel out of it, right? And then you can like go crazy, right? Now, whenever you use that ability, it no, notice how I have 50 right now, right? But notice how it's not moving up at all. So you just need to keep in mind that whenever you do do that, it's it's gonna take a while for you to start building it again. So it's not like, oh, I get to use it just immediately start rebuilding it. Cause then that would be broken, okay? Uh, so you still have to, you don't worry about it. Now, one thing that's really important to know, if you didn't know this about ultimates, but if you do damage, you gain more ultimate quicker. So, if you land a juicy attack, look at how much ultimate you gain from that. So, however much damage you do, that's how much, that's how fast you're going to build your ultimate. And it also works with your F button. So, this is a character that really just fits this whole ultimate system that they have. Because she's a character that does a lot of damage just from a combo. So, you can like... I mean, get ultimate after ultimate after ultimate if you're good. So she has a really high uh, skill ceiling, okay? So with that being said, let's just talk about her ultimate really quick. So if you pop it and you press the button and then let's say you want to get in the air, right? You want to get in the air again, right? Because remember, it goes wherever you want it to go, right? And then you have these three hits at the end because that's the one I'm using. So just keep in mind that like if you wanted to use it to get away or just get up out of there or something like that or to like maybe go down or something like that, you can do that. Or let's say you're in a tumultuous barrier, you can shoot it straight up so you can get out of his barrier, throw it one more time down there, then shoot it like this way in order to get out of the barrier safely, you know, without being stunned because that would be, you know, pretty sad if you got stunned in your ultimate. So just keep that in mind that you can move around while you're in her ultimate, okay? So with all of that being said, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, Yoto Him's like ability to like use grapples in, in like the midst of her using her uh, F ability. 
So a lot of people, they just use it as a combo tool or it's, and that's really much it or as a way to get closer to their enemies. Um, I want you to also think of it as a way to just get really, really far away from someone really, really, really quick. So if you didn't know this, this is another like tidbit of information. Uh, you can do this. Right. So you can fake somebody out or you can do this. And then come back in with the light. You know what I'm saying? So that's like a for honor trick where you would like you would unlock in order to go backwards, right? So you can do that in this game too. Now, if you have melee aim assist on, you have to go in a direction. So you have to look back first, go in that direction, and then press the button and then turn back. So it requires a little bit of you know, like you see what I'm saying? Like if you don't do it, then you'll still hit them. But you have to actually like get used to that. But it is possible. So because you can do that in the game, you also can like do that as a way like let's say I'm right here and I know I'm about to die but I get a lucky light off. You can just and then grapple and then get the freak up out of there, you know. So just keep that in mind like whenever you use her ability, you can use it as a get out tool also. Not just say that hey, I need to press my enemy. You can get up out of there with the ability. So with that being said, um that's just really powerful and I want you guys to start abusing that so you can like use her ultimate then you can like use it once get up out of there and then throw your ability if you want and then like use it like that so there's really no limit to like how you use this ability but just keep in mind that anytime you do damage it makes your ultimate build quicker so don't always feel like you have to get all three hits especially if you have a uh, Tianhe in your face and he's in his uh, Vagra, however you say that. You definitely don't want to be in your ultimate because he can grab you out of that. So just be smart with your ultimate. You you can use it and then be at 50%. And then let's say you wait a little while. Then you can just build that right back instantly. You know, So just don't worry about your ultimate. Don't be greedy with your ultimate. Especially if you know you're, about to, you're putting yourself in a bad position by staying in it. Okay. So for the most part, I feel like... That's pretty much everything that I wanted to say. So that's the end of this video. Um, so yeah, uh, if you want a little bit more information and a little bit more in-depth stuff that I went on, I made a character guide, like an all-character guide with timestamps, so you can go watch that video. This is more of like the post-patch stuff um, and like what's changed. But uh, yeah, so like the old stuff that they would teach us, you can do this. But that isn't as consistent as it used to be. They'll fall a little quicker than they did before. You have to get a little bit lucky. And you kind of have to like aim it a certain way. So it's not as consistent as it was before. So because it's not as consistent as it was before, a lot of people have like put the character down, right? But just remember, like you can still get this off of stuff like this. You can drop and get combo damage. And then get a setup right after that if you want, okay? So that's really, really powerful. Please start abusing that. Um, and yeah, that's my Yotohim guy. Thank you for watching.